what is up guys it's your boy d1 snipes here and today what we're talking about is the second part of the crotus end raid uh the new destiny raid and uh <clears throat> first things first uh link to part number one is in the description below and the link to part number three will also be in there uh later on today uh for the second part of the raid uh this was super complicated to figure out uh we had no idea what the hell we were doing uh this was at five in the morning mind you so not everybody's heads were on straight uh you spawn after after you come through the light uh through the first part of the raid uh, you come through uh, <clears throat> and you spawn on the top right of my screen up on one of these little platforms and the goal of what you're trying to do is uh, you need to split up your team into two two and two to start off um, right now what I am doing is uh, I am opening a I'm opening the bridge now let's let's talk about some of the mechanics that go into uh, this part of the raid. Okay, so off to my right is a. We're just for confusion and uh, familiarity's sake, we're gonna say that's a conflux. Uh, you need to defend that conflux, and you need to cleanse it. Now we thought that you needed the sword. You do not need the sword to cleanse it. Uh, all you need is a guardian. So. As you can see, that one right there was turning red. If that turns red, uh, also for familiarity's sake, uh, it marks you and you guys will die. Uh, if it gets too bright of red, uh, you guys will wipe. Um, so what I end up doing, we have a guy die. I go up and I tried to run through it. I ended up getting close enough and it turns blue. Okay, so that's all you have to do is just run through it and it turns blue. Alright, so the second mechanic of this is uh, this circle that I'm running towards with the sword. Uh, that opens up the bridge. Now, it may say that the bridge is done forming, but it is not done forming until those spikes on each side are completely uh, and full. Uh, until that is completely done, you cannot cross the bridge. Um, what I just did with that sword that I picked up, try to explain that in a minute. Um, <clears throat> once you can, all right, let me back up for just a second. I got ahead of myself. When I picked up that sword, there is a, as you just saw, he spawns. There is a sword bearer. Okay, so the sword carrier. Uh, is your only source of the sword so me and I believe it's two other of my teammates are on the top side of the bridge now you cannot cross the bridge without the sword so you 100% have to have the sword to cross the bridge now the only way to kill these guardians at the top of the bridge is with the sword they're immune to all bullets and they will just stay up here and hassle you the rest of the mission uh, if you do not kill him with the sword so we got into a little bit of a pickle right here uh, we had two guys die and we had a guardian uh, stay alive for this cycle uh, so these guardians can only be killed with the sword and that's after the, the sword bearer is killed at the bottom of the bridge uh, you can open the bridge from both the top and the bottom as you can see we have a teammate that's just trying to keep the uh, the bridge open so that as soon as the sword is uh, killed off of the guy at the bottom he can come straight to the top the guy at the bottom regens health like a bitch and will do it often uh, he's extremely hard to kill so the guys from the top need to help him down at the bottom now you have to cross uh, the bridge one at a time so you end up having one guy uh, on the other side of the bridge at any given time or to, to end up I guess I should say so uh, this doesn't really take that long if you know what you're doing uh, it's very difficult to to kind of iron out the uh, the rough parts especially on this because every single person uh, has to 
kill these uh, guardians with the sword. Uh, it doesn't really take much, but if you're the first one over, uh, it can be kind of tricky to stay alive. Um, even though, if you do have somebody go down on either side of the bridge, you do not have to wipe. <clears throat> because you can get to each side of the bridge uh, <clears throat> from the top or the bottom. Now, the only time that you have to wipe is if your last guy dies on the bottom side of the bridge. If he dies, uh, you're pretty much screwed because you can't get back over to him. Not, not a way that I know of, anyway. You can't get back over to him and uh, pick up the sword but after he gets the sword and you have all six of your uh, the guardians dead that are immune to bullets but not immune to the sword after you kill the sword <coughs> what you need to do is continue to keep these confluxes uh, cleansed I guess you could say you need to keep them uh, blue and not red and all that takes is just running through them with a the guardian now uh, your other main objective is to hold this gate open. Now, the bridge will uh, continue to, I think it stays up, I'm not sure, it might even despawn, but you're trying to open up that green door, and by doing that, you need to stand on this plate. Uh, some crazy shit spawns, uh, that level 31 ogre, I think there's a couple level 31 uh, ultimate witches that spawn, so it gets, it gets pretty hectic. Uh, just make sure to stay alive the best you can and the best strategy that we found was the top guys uh, helping out snipe uh, the bottom after we had three guys up top um, but your main uh, your main objective is to kill those uh, <clears throat> kill those guardians with the sword so as soon as you uh, kill the sword bearer at the bottom you want to move up top as quickly as you can across the bridge and there may be some timing issues that you have to iron out as far as getting the bridge up but uh, as soon as you do um, stay alive at the top uh, clear these guys out don't be afraid to use heavy these guys are tough especially if you guys are still level 30s and then all you have to do is get this gate uh, open and then uh, you complete the spawn and you're good to go <clears throat> so as you can see, we beat this part, and it didn't take us very long after we figured out how to, uh, how to do it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, part 3 will be up later today, and I hope you guys can watch part 1. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by, and make sure to leave a like if you guys found this helpful. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.